Don't let your emotions control you. This is going to be an interesting topic for all of us, I think, because emotions are a big part of human life. You know, humans naturally feel emotions. Compared to other animals, we haven't been able to see or almost measure the emotions that animals feel or even can communicate between each other. We know that animals can communicate between each other in the same species. We don't know what emotions they can display. We can only assume from their body language and potentially from what the chemicals in their brain are showing through tests. But with humans, we can obviously talk to each other and communicate. We can understand each other and we can communicate how we're feeling. We can also correctly identify what we're feeling. So if someone's feeling angry, they're going to have a more you know, physical stance. Anger usually makes them more tensed up, more, you know, their facial expressions usually get scrunched up. They're very tight and very ready to, you know, almost explode from the inside out. So the reason why we're talking about, you know, emotions controlling you is because it's a big part of, like I said, our lives. And we need to somehow eliminate our emotions controlling us day in and day out. Just to clarify, I think our emotions you know, happy, positive emotions are fine, you know, in our everyday life, obviously. It's just we're trying to eliminate the negative ones that control our actions. Because, you know, when, when you are when you have these emotions, they sort of sit inside you and they, they almost boil. And when a situation occurs that aggravates that emotion or almost initiates it and starts up, that's where we get the issues when, it, when it's especially a negative one and we're going to be talking about anger. Let's say you've had a, a rough day. And you're feeling quite on edge. You're feeling very angry. You've got a lot of anger inside you because you've had a rough couple of moments throughout your day here and there. You know, let's say a bus was late. You stubbed your toe. You know, your food was cold and you ordered it. You know, three things are not ideal, right? So these things may boil up inside throughout the day. And then when you get home from, from work or school to wherever you, you've been uh, and someone just says, you know, a family member or even, even a friend just makes a sly comment as a joke, you may explode. You know, you may... That built up anger inside you and just made you you know release that anger that's been built up throughout the day and you may say something you may regret you may very rarely you know lash out viciously you know aggressively highly doubt that that could be an example these things are all derived from you know throughout the day these these courses of, of, of anger obviously this is not ideal you don't want to be angry at someone you don't ever want to cause this sort of anger or show this emotion towards those people so the topic today is how, how do we stop that? How do we eliminate this happening again? So first off, you've got to understand that emotions are our body's responses to what the mind is perceiving and, and thinking, right? So your body doesn't perceive your bus running late. It's your mind that translates it from your eyes. So it gathers the information from your eyes into your brain and then your body and brain communicate via that. It's not your body, you know, see your body doesn't see the bus it's your eyes and your brain so the connection between your brain and your body is what creates these emotions it, like i said it's your body's reaction to what your brain's perceiving and translating from you know your senses your ears your eyes your, your touch so how do we eliminate this this emotional feeling well it's a very good book that i've been reading it's called the power of now i recommend it the best way to do this is is, is become almost the watcher of your emotions so everyone feels emotions very natural you need to when you're feeling this anger even the sadness we're just using anger as it's uh anger is very rarely used as a, a beneficial emotion right so if you're ever feeling anger take a step back and i mean not literally in real life in your head take a step back and try and view where that anger is coming from like i've said these these previous events the examples i gave it could be derived from those events that happened but just take a step back and be like, right, I'm feeling angry. How do I not show this anger towards other people? And you just tell yourself it will pass, right? It's only a moment in time. You don't have to act on what your body is pushing to your mind, right? Your body's going to be showing this anger towards these situations. But it's up to you. You know, they, they say it's your, your mind and your ego in a way to just bring light that emotion in, within inside you and let it dissipate you don't have to act on that emotion it's very hard i know it's hard because it's taken i think i'm getting i'm getting good at it but it's it's taken a while to get used to feeling these emotions and not acting upon them um you know previously if i've done you know a lot of a lot of gaming and stuff 
there's moments in gaming that make me angry. You know, what have I done before? You know, smash my hand on the desk, smash my controller, all these things. But now if I'm feeling angry, you know, I realise, ah, oh, I'm angry. But I tell myself, it's going to pass. It doesn't matter. It's just a brief moment in time, right? So why does it matter if I smash my hand on the desk? What does that gain me? That's what my body's release of this anger. However, in the in the meantime, I'm causing damage to my hand. I'm breaking my controller. What well, re realistically, what's the positive? So you may ask yourself, you know, if you don't release this anger, where does it go? It will just dissipate. It will once you bring to the light this emotion, you'll no longer feel anger. It will just slowly dissipate out of your mind and out of your body, and you go back into your into into the present and into what you're doing previously, right? However, there is a there is proof out there that some people are naturally more angry than others. And even some of us may be able to feel that anger from others. So if you ever met someone who's just gives you that vibe that they're very angry or very negative energy, there is people out there that are unfortunately have, you know, a lot more pent up negative uh, anger from just being born. Just unfortunately the chemicals in their brain have given them that sort of unfair disadvantage in terms of anger and so that's why you have some people in anger management that's this may be due to them having just natural high level anger inside them so it just takes a lot more effort for them to control their anger hence through the anger management classes but for an average day-to-day -day, um, emotional level human i think it's vital for us to take a step back view what's going on inside us and just just let it go there's no there's no point if your friends or someone on the street says a passing comment what's the point there's no point and we see this quite a lot when someone is so if someone's drinking a lot of alcohol we get drunk what does alcohol do our brain becomes inhibited in in receiving uh, uh, messages and so we act out and say things you know, that we may regret in the morning for example and so that's why you see a lot of people there everyone says the truth serum that's why people say a lot of things when drunk that they couldn't say when sober because your brain just allows that to be said because they can't stop it it's just the alcohol speaking. Same with the alcohol punching, all these fights, bar fights, pub fights, etc. This will happen because the brain is inhibited. The, me the, the transmission between the brain and the body is inhibited or at least weakened compared to when you're sober. And you'll see a lot of fights from that. Hopefully this gives you an insight on why you shouldn't let you know, your emotions control you. Obviously, the, I'm using an example of negative angry, anger, never really a positive unless you're doing some sort of, you know, martial arts or boxing match where you want to try and use that anger to your advantage with positive emotions you don't you know you don't really want them to dissipate so it doesn't really you know link together well that's why we're looking at the negative side just don't let these emotions control you or control your whole life people go and I've, I'm, I'm guilty of it as well people go you know days where emotions are controlling your actions just remind yourself to get back into to the now as the book says uh, and, and focus on the present rather than letting these emotions take control of your present which will dictate your future leaving with a quote as always this one's by bruce lee i'm sure we all know who bruce lee is emotion can be the enemy if you give into your emotion you lose yourself you must be at one with your emotions because the body always follows the mind